Hey everyone, I'm Sue and welcome back for another episode of Does This Notion Really Work? And in today's episode, we're talking about June Taylor's Cut and Press. If you haven't already, do me a favor and subscribe below. And of course, if you want alerts, you're going to want to click the little dinger button. So today we're talking about June Taylor's Quilters Cut and Press. I have had one of these for almost 20 years. And I fell in love with them when I was working at a sewing shop and I was selling the heck out of them to students who were coming in, you know, going back and forth from home to class. And the problem sometimes when you take classes is that there's maybe only one, maybe two irons in class. And this little guy was fantastic because not only could you cut, you had your own space for rotary cutting, but you also had your own space for pressing. So let me introduce you to the Quilters Cut and Press and tell you all the reasons that I love it so much. The first thing I want to mention is this comes in two different sizes. There's the number one, which is the one I'm showing you here, measuring 11 by 11, and then there is the two, which is 12 by 18 inches. The pressing material is 65% poly and 35% cotton, and it has this great handle, which is perfect for taking the classes. On this side, of course, is the cutting mat, nice and thick and durable. Whether you're taking your quilters cut and press to sewing class or you're keeping it right next to your sewing machine, this is a nice convenient place to press on one side and cut on the other. Using your ruler and your rotary cutter, it's super easy to use the lines, of course, on the rotary mat, lining it up with your ruler and using it just like you would any other mat. What's really cool too is you have some angles here on the mat. You've got 45 degree angle and 60 degree angle. So it makes it really nice and easy if you're wanting to cut for binding or some fun, intricate little quilting blocks. And one of my favorite things about the Quilters Cut and Press is the thickness. It's nearly an inch thick of padding and the material and the cutting mat, and it just makes it really durable and last a long time. So what did you think of it? I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite notions. So now you're probably wondering where can you get your very own June Taylor's Cut and Press? Well, honestly, you can get them at your local shop. You can get them at places online. Of course, you know, I love to support my local dealers. So go in there first and ask them if they have one. So now you're probably wondering what they cost. Well, I've seen them anywhere between $24 and $37, depending on the size and the location. Of course, when you buy them online, don't forget you are probably paying shipping. And if you like this video and you learned something new, do me two favors. One, give me a thumbs up. This lets me see that you like what I'm doing and I'll continue to do more of it. And the other thing is to share. Click the little share button, share it with your friends on Facebook or Instagram or everywhere. Send it to all your friends on email or send them a text. Let them know that you enjoy these videos so that I can continue making them for you and your stitching friends. And speaking of social media, follow me. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. You can follow me everywhere at Suovery Designs. And on Facebook, we have a fan club. It is very interactive. There's lots of conversation. People are posting projects that they've finished. They post good questions, lots of interaction. So if you're looking for an online sewing community, please join me at Suovery Designs Fan Club. And until I see you next time, I hope you have a creative day. Bye bye. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe below. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Have a creative day. Bye-bye.